Welcome everyone, here is how you transfer data from your old phone to your new Google Pixel 7 Pro. So the first step is you will need to be on this screen here, welcome to your Google Pixel. Uh, this is of course for the Google Pixel 7 Pro. If you're not on this screen and you already set up your new Google Pixel 7 Pro, then you will need to factory reset this device. In order to do the factory reset, I'm going to show you the process on my old phone, but make sure you do this on your new Google Pixel 7 Pro. So the first step is you're going to open up the settings app. From here, you're going to scroll to the bottom and you should see system. You then going to scroll to the bottom and you're going to see reset options. You're then going to see erase all data, tap on this one, follow the on-screen instructions, and then you should be brought to the welcome to your Pixel screen. So from here, let's select get started. It's asking to insert a physical SIM card or activate eSIM. You don't need to do this now, you can do it later. So I'm going to tap on skip. What you do need to do is you will need to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to connect to my network like so. And once you've connected to the network, it's going to show here, getting your phone ready. At this point, you just need to wait until we are brought to the next screen. You will now see here, copy apps and data. So you're gonna tap on next, next, next. And now it says insert cable into your old device. Okay, so in order to do this, open up the Pixel 7 Pro box. You're gonna find the charging cable right here and you're gonna do a quick test. So this cable is USB-C, so you're gonna check, can you insert the USB-C cable into your old Android? I can, which means I don't need to do extra steps. However, if you can't, then what that means is you will need to get your old charger cable, okay? So you're gonna need the charger cable for your old phone. You're gonna use this adapter right here. You're gonna insert the adapter into the Google Pixel 7 Pro. And then you're going to insert the USB-A part of your old charger cable into the adapter and the other end into your old phone, okay? In my case, because my old phone is slightly newer, I can insert the Google Pixel 7 Pro charging cable into both ends, okay? Insert like so. Once this is done, you're gonna tap on next and just make sure that your old phone is on the home screen. If you're using an iPhone, it may ask to trust the connection to a computer. That's okay. Just tap on trust and then enter in your passcode. So we're going to tap on skip and skip. So now we see here, copy data to your new device. So what you're going to do is you're just going to tap on the copy button. So I'm going to do that right now. And you're going to see here, choose what to copy. If you have an iPhone, it may take a couple of minutes for this screen to show up, but if you have an Android, which most people will have, this should show up almost instantly. So my old Android phone barely has any data, so I'm not having many options here. However, if you have a lot of data, you have all of the options to transfer. You just tick to select, untick to unselect, and you'll be good to go. So now we're gonna tap on copy. Do keep in mind when it comes to WhatsApp, if you have an iPhone, it will ask you to scan the QR code. And in order to do that, you will just open up the camera app. You would scan the QR code and then you can transfer your WhatsApp messages seamlessly. On Android, for most Android, you'll see the same instructions. Uh, A, B, the WhatsApp uh, contacts and messages will transfer without any extra steps or see 
your Android phone will not support transferring the WhatsApp messages over. If that's the case, you will need to use a third party software, which will need to YouTube or Google uh, to find. So let's tap on copy and you can see copying your data. So from here, you're just going to ask for more setup. So you've used location, you want that on, just select whatever option here. It's going to talk about the limited warranty. So we'll just go next. It's going to ask to set a passcode. I'm just going to skip this one. View additional apps. And basically all of the setup stuff you see, just set up how you would like. You can now see copying is done. So I'm going to tap on done. And now you're going to see getting your phone ready. You can disconnect the cable from your old Android if you would like to now. It's going to say swipe to navigate your phone. So if you want to tap on try it, you can play around with the navigation. You can just select skip. And now let's swipe up to go home. For many people, you're going to notice these swipe gestures here and you probably haven't used them before. And if that's the case, go onto YouTube right now and search up how to use gestures in Google Pixel 7 Pro. You'll find my tutorial and watch my tutorial on how to use these swipe gestures. With that being said, thanks for watching. If you want to buy any Google Pixel 7 Pro accessories, use my Amazon affiliate link in the description and you'll help support the channel at the same time. If you appreciated this video, there's also a super thanks if you want to send a donation. Bye bye.